I, I didn't bring bourbon. I'm sorry. I, That's I, a, you it's, brought it's your a tough a, act to follow here. No, you yeah. brought your witty personality. <laughs> yes. Are you reading Shakespeare today or no? Uh, what not today. Do you have for us? Oh, oh. Damn it. We we did, we, where was that? That was we, at, at the Eckerd the event. Eckerd thing in Glenside, for, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, that's Philly. right. I had Aristotle. I was reading Aristotle. Aristotle. Aristotle's See, right. a big yes. I'm, not even, yes, I'm big, not even classy <laughs> enough to even know who you were reading. So. No, maybe we'll get some Play-Doh involved next time. So. Like Play-Doh? You could uh, eat that. That's true. That's yeah, true. I'm the fat kid yeah. in the kindergarten room, you know? Like, I was a kid eating Play-Doh. This is what corners. I deal with. It's delicious. Yeah, so it's a tough is, life yeah. to live. That was big. Wow. I swear. Wow. Tim, what do we do? Anderson Rescue Solutions, man. What? Yeah. It's a big It's a big year. It's a big year. So. Yeah, if nobody heard. We uh, I hung it up in Philly and had to make some hard decisions. ARS grew a lot faster than I thought it was going to be, and and uh, couldn't do two full time jobs anymore. So I had to had to make some choices. So um, cut the cord, moved to North Carolina, get closer to family, and and here we are. So trying to build pa it up. Passion and rescue, right? You were a rescue firefighter, right? Uh, squad, squad company. Squad but yeah, company. yeah. Let's make that very clear. Well, hold squad on, right. seventy two. Yeah. You know what? For, for the, from where you come from, makes that big. The state there's a distinction. Sure. Across the country, man. Yeah. Squad rescue. It's yeah. A, a rescue lot of firemen. times interchangeable. So I apologize. Absolutely. Special operations firemen. So, and friends. Yeah. I hope you don't get any. How hate dare mail you? From, yeah, I know. No, I hope no, he doesn't no, get any no. hate mail from his friends, right? No. But at the end of the day, like you, you were a tech guy. You're a tech guy. Correct. And so you developed Anderson Rescue. So I mean, you developed products that simplifies. From what I've seen, I'm not a tech guy. No, I've my, seen the product. You can get together with your rope nerd friends on the weekends and do stuff, but but simplicity has got to be the foundation of everything. I think both both in tech rescue and especially rapid intervention, which is kind of what got me started. And here was firefighter rescue and needing simpler tools to accomplish the mission. And so our whole sort of mission statement is is reality. Is it's got to work in reality. It doesn't need to work on the apparatus floor on drill right. night. It's got to work when I can't see, can't feel. My pulse is 200. That's our baseline. That's where we start. So if it works there, then cool, let's talk. If it doesn't, throw it in the garbage. That's a, that's good, my, that's a good mantra, that's man. That's kind of my, my uh, goal set. So yeah, but that's it's, reality. It's reality. And it's going to be stress, or it's got to make things simpler and more efficient for me. So. Yeah, so your rescue strap is innovative and I think is a game changer. Talk about Thank you. your rescue strap. So the multi loop rescue strap was, again, it, a lot of guys carry webbing, but webbing doesn't work in the criteria I just gave you. When you especially with gloves on, it's super hard. It's just flat. It doesn't have any... Uh, there's no tactile reference points on it to throw out some big words there, but um, but the oh, rescue. I'm hanging on. Yeah, I'm hanging on. You I got, got it. it. <laughs> so the uh, the rescue strap is designed to work when I can't feel well. So I've got um, things to make it easier to work with firefighting gloves um, when I can't see. So you know again, and then it's just it's simple. Um, that's the whole key is is simple is girth hitch. Chuck them out the window. Awesome. So, and then some other things, rope bags, rope, right? You have a buddy of mine's in a rescue company and they were looking at your roof bag, right? Your yep. life safety, yes, talk sir. about that setup. Yeah, so I have a, a kit for um, emergency rooftop operations. You know, the FDY is made famous going over the edge and making grabs at windows. So we made a rope bag, our fire ground special operations rope bag is designed specifically for that evolution or for wide area search and, and uh, rescue firemen through the floor, stuff like that. But we have a kit that's super easy. With three guys, you can make the rescue in two minutes from arriving on the roof. Get the guys off, you know, sometimes faster depending on what you're doing. But it's, it's quick, it's simple, uh, easy to deploy, and uh, yeah. It's rock and roll. We were talking about before we were over, I was over at your booth before we were talking about it, and you said, you know, I, I congrat congratulated you on going full time with it. That had to be a hell of a decision to make. You, you had your dream job. You said it. <laughs> yeah. I had my dream job. I was, I was a firefighter. I was a fireman. I had my dream job. But your entrepreneurial spirit and your hustle, right? Talk well, sure. To so, yeah, that's funny. Everyone's like, oh, you got to chase your dreams. My dream was to be a special <laughs> operations fireman right. in a big city, and I, right. I, I got there, and it was as, every bit as great as I thought it could be. Right. You know, worked with outstanding dudes. Humbled to go to some very difficult, you know challenging fires over my career and, and you know I will miss that dearly I'm sure um, but the chance now is hopefully to give back because I've been blessed and, and uh, let's try to get some gear out there that makes an impact so that's Tim, our that's our goal what, what was the pivotal moment for you when you realized that you I don't say you had to act but like you were like hey we're missing this like you talk about the 200 heartbeats a minute and like operating in that environment where you can't see like what was the moment that started this? The so spark I'll, I'll point to two. The first was uh, when I went to Philadelphia, does a great special operations training program for the guys who are kind of candidating for those positions. 
and their firefighter rescue week was insane and they, they made it very obvious what you could and couldn't do in a high stress environment. And you're still in training, so you, you know you're gonna go home and get a beer afterwards. So you couple that with, I might not go home, and you, you know that, okay, crap, this just isn't gonna work. We yeah. gotta have something something simple. And then that was proven to me, um, I found myself working at an actual, actual mayday that ended up in a line of duty death and, and part of that removal process. And, uh, <clears throat> At one point, I, had a, I keep a carabiner on the front of my, my turnout coat that I can take off to do whatever with. I was too exhausted to do it. I was literally looking right here at a carabiner clipped on my coat, and I couldn't do it because wow. I was so exhausted. I was wow. like, well, all right, this proves everything I thought. It's got to be simple because I'm stressed out of my mind right now. Yeah. And so yeah. that's where we kind of have to, have to look at how we're, how we're doing things and how we're training and what, what, is, what can we actually do and what are, what are we kind of shooting the moon for. Like, you, Well, I, I thank you for taking a... A situation like that, an experience like that, and making it into something that we're going to learn from, and and the end result is you're, you've produced a wonderful product, well, several of them, that. to make the fire service better and well, help thank us you. out. I mean, that's so. that's the goal now is to to try to get some stuff out there that works. So. Um, I yeah, love how humble you are. You're no, ridiculous. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> at the end of the day, we've become friends. We've just like Eric, who we talked to before, and you guys are friends, obviously. And you know, part of that is we're all coming up through this together. You're navigating the ways of how to advertise and educate. Education is king. Indeed. Right? We don't. You're not selling products. You're educating and providing tools that work, especially with your mantra of what you offer. Well, and that's what we want to do. I, the best thing, you know, and that's what the best part about FDIC, especially coming through the years, starting way off in the back corner of the stadium, yeah, right. working our way a little closer to the mainstream here, but having guys come by like, yo, I've got your stuff, and it really helped me in this. I mean, that's that's why we're doing this. That's it. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning, and when I'm staring at the ceiling at night, wondering how I'm going to feed my family and missing Squad 72, that's what keeps me going the next day. Yeah. So, um well, listen, I wish you nothing but success, man. Thank Tim, you. congratulations on the commitment it. to you, thank to you, Anderson. Sir. And, thank uh, you very much. Listen, I think what you're doing is you're really putting out a great product, and uh, people need to be aware of that. Where I can they find that. you? What do you have going on? Uh, AndersonRescue.com. That's our website. Uh, Instagram, Anderson Rescue Solutions, Facebook, all the good stuff. Awesome. We'll go from there. And Raleigh, North Carolina. Come knocking. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So, Come, change come change your yeah. zip code as well. So. <laughs> exactly. Tim, thank you very much, pal. Thanks for having thank me you. on. Enjoy the show. Appreciate it.